All right, so basically my last recording didn't work at all. Um, I wanted to quickly go over some home remedies. Uh, the first one is called Manuka Honey. And here it is right here. So Manuka Honey has some antiviral and antibacterial properties. It's made from, it's from Australia. It's from the bees who um, make Manuka honey from the Manuka plant. It's very, very potent. It's more potent than any other honey um, against bacteria and viruses. So Manuka honey. So it should be good for colds. It should be good for just overall immune health. There this is. This is called Echinacea. Echinacea has been used for thousands of years. It is also good for immune health. It does help your immune system. And you do need an immune boost when you ha catch a cold or the flu. Um, this is a popular ingredient. This is called ginseng. It is a popular ingredient in cold effects. In a lot of cold remedies that are coming out right now, it is a very popular ingredient. Um, it's supposed to also be good for overall health and immune system. And oil of oregano. Oil of, uh, oil of oregano is supposed to kill vir viruses and bacteria on contact as well. This is very potent. Um, this says oil of oregano and I think that... Um, I'm not sure which where this one is, comes from. But some of the more potent ones come from Europe, from Eastern Europe. And um, this one here is supposed to supposed to be really good as well. Okay, I wanted to want to talk about tea tree oil, but like everyone knows, tea tree oil is an antimicrobial. It's antibacterial, and like it says here on the label, antifungal, antiseptic, anti-acne. Um, it's good for dandruff too, actually. Alright, so basically that's all I wanted to talk about.